This next one I think is absolutely huge. Someone asked me today what the most important thing that I do is. And I would say to you, it is to develop people. All right, and there's a bunch of stuff here, but I want to talk about it really quickly. People quit people before they quit organizations. You may have heard that in the past, but if we have people, our, our CMO talks about, hey, we don't have a hiring problem, we have a retaining, a retaining problem. I understand there are exceptions to everything. You know, you may have someone that's a, a military spouse, they leave, or a medical condition, or something like that. Barring some of those kinds of things, if we have people leaving, it means we're not meeting their needs. From the person we onboarded today, who told me they've been reading for three weeks in their cubicle because they don't have a CAC yet, or some other need is not being met, meaningful, purposeful work, challenging them, giving them honest feedback, good and bad. People want that. We need to do that, all right? We need to develop our people, and they'll quit us before they quit the organization. We need to get in touch with our people. Uh, and, and this it involves this next one over here of raising the top, recognizing and rewarding. We just published an a, uh, instruction on how we're going to recognize people. But think about this. Let's say you have on your team 30% superstars, 50% kind of really good in the middle, and 20% are not non-performing. If we don't address each one of the needs of these, these groups, these people as individuals, then we're going to have problems. And there's a bunch of different ways that happens. If we recognize the bottom 20% the same way as we do as the top 30, there's a lot of disenfranchising going on here. If we don't rate, if we lower the standard so these people come down to these 50 and down to the 20 by just hiring to fill voids rather than hiring tough, then that's a problem. We want to raise this. We want to raise the top here and raise these people up through our inspiration and our leadership. You need to know your people, know, get, get their feedback, and give them recognition. This right here, this orange thing you can barely see, is a fluffy duck. And why is that important? Well, it's something about some individual on your team that you know. When you talk to them, you know them as people and value them as people not just employees where you're trying to get something done. That's part of it. These things down here, right, this is a bucket, and I want you to fill it every single day with things that you can do to make NAFAC a better, a great place to work, right? Fill up buckets. The more buckets you fill up every single day, and I'm not just talking about with, with, with things that, that, you know, are not sincere, but honestly looking out for catching people doing good things and fill up those buckets. This is a dipper and I, you know, you need to ask yourself, are you a bucket filler or a dipper? And the dippers are people that have cynicism and negativism and, and deconstructive kinds of things. Someone in your team is doing that today. We need to eradicate that and make them bucket fillers. That's how we teach and lead people. Anybody know what this is? It's a box score. Box score baseball. Right. It's a baseball box score, and the home team is zero, and the away team says five. Five this month, I think it was, between the Marine Corps, the Air Force, and yesterday, Naval Reactors, that said, hey, we need to do our job better. And so we need to communicate the box score. Honestly, when we're not doing this with our metrics, we're doing a, a, a disservice to ourselves and to the Navy. They're relying on us to do that. And what I mean by, you know, hey, why is there a five in the away column? Yesterday we assessed about ten projects at two different shipyards. Some of those projects were a thousand days beyond the contract completion date. Think about that. A thousand days. Today at NAFAC headquarters, Admiral Corka hosted the first of several industry engagements. And they said Contractors, industry told us today that they know at the 15% mark, 15% mark when something, when a project's going off track. And they swarm it. And, and that person, let's say it's our FIAD director, or our supervisor, contract specialist, or where's our engineer? Uh, our, our engineer uh, 
And they come in, they get to go to the, the, the industry headquarters, and they say they never want to do that again. Right? Because they swarm it and they solve it. That's where we need to be, communicating the score.